going on. So today, I'm going to be just quickly talking about batteries. Uh, on my bike, this is the factory battery. Uh, it's a just a stock battery filled with uh, sulfuric acid. <clears throat> it's got 190 cold cranking amps, 12 volt battery. This is standard battery. Um, usually these batteries last, depending on how you um, store it. That's the most important thing, but these batteries will last anywhere from, I would say, um, three years to six years, uh, maybe even five years. It, it really depends on how uh, you store it, but I know for my bike personally, um, I don't use, usually leave my battery connected. I take my battery out and put it on a tender I have for every season. Um, except the first season because I think my bike came the 26th of December. I was able actually to ride it at least one day every month because the weather was pretty warm that, that year. Uh, for 2000, uh, that was 2015 when it came, but it was 2016 model. So in January, I rode one day in February, all the way till we got to about April. Um, but anyway, in the mail today, I got this one. So this is a ultra light battery. Um, this is a Lint ultra light battery. Um, now the one I have is a YLP10. They also have a seven. Um, but the reason I got the 10 is because I have ABS and the other electronics on the bike, electronic steering dampener and other electronics on the bike. So um, that's the reason I went with the 10. If you don't have ABS, I believe they recommend the YLP7. But anyway, this is a, a lithium, lithium iron phosphate battery. So it is much more lightweight. So this is what it looks like. Just want to take it out here and compare the size. So you get these little blocks to fill in the gaps, but that's the difference. So that's what we're looking at here. Uh, this one right here is 200. I believe it's 200 uh, yes cold cranking amps so it's just about the same it's got 10 more cold cranking amps you don't really need a heavy extra extra uh, cold cranking amps um, battery because you know we're when I start my bike is it's usually in the s summer summer to spring fall I don't really start in the winter um, so we don't really need cold cranking amps uh, what's important is that you disconnect this battery um, when you're not riding it. This is the serial number on it. Uh, but yeah, you just could disconnect it when you're not riding more than, I believe they say like two weeks. Um, so I probably will install like a quick disconnect. That way I don't have to keep unscrewing it um, I want to get a battery tender because I do have a um, I do have a um, what do you call it LED lights on my bike and I do have an alarm now the alarm will drain it very very little bit at a time LED lights don't really pull they pull less than a one volt of uh, voltage so I'm not really worried about that but just picking these things up. I don't have a scale. I'm not going to measure the scale. I'm not one of those people that's all into weight or whatever. But the main reason I bought this, this battery is because I want more room underneath the seat. With the alarm, there's an alarm uh, head on there. So all the room I can spare 
works and also um, just a little bit more space now it does save somewhat of a you do save somewhat some weight I would say the factory over the factory one you probably saving about six to seven pounds because this is like 0.9 ounces something like that just under one pound and this one is probably about eight pounds I believe between seven and eight pounds so yeah yep so this is what I got and uh, I'll let you guys take a look at it when I install it but it's gonna be a few more weeks before I actually start riding so if you have any questions or comment put it down below and thanks for watching.